How's it going, homies? It's your main man, RP Games here, and I am going to be talking about the 3.0 update. Now, I'm not going to just talk about the balance changes. I'm also going to talk about other stuff like the new stage, new gear, and other stuff. So, let's get into the balance changes first. 96 gals. It's basically getting more accurate with its first few shots. Now, what I think about this is, 96 gal, I've, I've always thought of as a really strong weapon. I think about it, a two-shot kill weapon makes it really long range. I've always thought that was overpowered. I don't know about you, but I think that buff is kind of unnecessary. That's all I got to say about it. Luna Blaster. More ink at your feet. This is also Luna Blaster Neo, by the way. So, when you shoot your feet, well, a very around your feet is cut. Now, this is great because I think every weapon should have this, where you can shoot that around your feet. So, like, this is good in case you want to, like, try to dodge out of the way. Because it's going to in your place. I think that's good. L3 Nozzle Nose and L3 Nozzle Nose Boot. Inch feet during firing. So, that's also good. The same thing. Squeezer. Increased range when holding ZR. So, this is, like, I like to call it, like, the end zap mode. Or instead of, like, tapping shots, you just hold down. And it decreased ink consumption during this by 10%. This is good because I feel like for the squeezer, it just turned, like, nobody used it, the holding down mode. And now it's the buffing it, which I think it needs, because now it's more unique. Dynamo lower. And gold dynamo lower. Inks turn faster after your flame. So, like, well, the ink flies kind of faster and it can kill quicker. And increase number and spread of droplets on the horizontal flank. Now, I think, I, I don't know how much of a change this is going to be, but I definitely think the faster ink, yeah, like flame, is going to be better. So we might see some more dynamics. Flames are rolling. It has more range on the horizontal flame for it to kill. Nope. Excuse me. For that, I think we're going to see a lot more flames, other than uh, hero rollers. Because it's got some range on the vertical, and it's going to be really good with the horizontal, so might see some more flames. Basically, all the snipers, your feet is covered when you shoot. This is definitely necessary, because if you want to escape, you can get in your ink and just shoot instead of having to shoot like three times. And you can, like, recover ink in your face. Bamboo slur. The damage has changed from 80 to 85. This is not going to make much of a difference, but I think it's still helpful. Because anything will help the dead people at this point. Blue release. Increased range after roll. This is going to be massive for the blue release, and I think we'll see many more of them in the new meta. Tensor Brella. Goes from a 6 second to 5 second Brella respawn. This is going to be awesome for the Brella. The tens of brella because we'll see more of those because that is just a huge a whole second that's awesome for the ten umbrella splash wall this is awesome because you can throw two now you don't have to wait for the other one to die you can just throw one and the other one will just disappear that is awesome also it's something like if you throw it on a different surface now it's all the same it, it used to be a little laggy when you threw it on the surface so Squid Beacon has more durability, and it takes less damage from basically everything, so that's good. Ink Mine, you can sub-strafe now. This is amazing, because Ink Mines were not that powerful, and they gave them more power. Also for Ink Mines, you, can, you have more like flexibility when putting them on the tower in tower control. That is very good for Ink Mines. More Ink Mine weapons are going to be coming into the metal. Curling Bump. Decreased damage from long distances, but if you use it at short distance, the explosion radius increases. This is needed very badly, because I saw so many times in the past update where I would get killed from curling bombs because the blast radius was so big, and I've just noticed immediately that it's just mellowed a bit, and I don't, I'm not dying like I used to from a curling bomb out of nowhere. So that's really good. Sprinkler. Rip Sprinkler. This is terrible for the Sprinkler. Uh, uh, less droplets are sprayed out when it's up on high surfaces, 
and it has less range when you begin to throw it, that kind of sucks. But it does have more durability, so that's a bit better. Stingray, damage reduced by 10%, and you can't use it in your spawn, it will automatically push you out. This is amazing, because Stingray was overpowered in the last meta, now it's getting nerfed and putting in check. So that's awesome. That's basically all of the weapon things. Now we're going to be talking about like the special points. Luna Neo is going from 180 points to get a special to 170. I, I don't know if this is going to be much of a change. 10 points isn't really much. Clash Neo, 180 to 170. Now this is kind of annoying me because I already think that the Clash Neo is very good. And I think it's used very often. And I don't think it needs a buff right now. And they gave it one. So that kind of sucks. Zinc Mini Spotlight, 200 to 190. This is needed. I'm not seeing any Zinc Minis. So I think it's a small change is needed. Blaster, 170 to 190. Needed, needed, needed. Blaster has always been one of those weapons that I thought has been overpowered with range and with damage. And I always thought that it needed like a small little nerf. Because Splashdown getting on the 170 for a blaster is, is really good, so it needed that. Slosher Deco, 200 to 220. Rip Slosher Deco. I use that weapon, and that's going to suck for me because the sprinkler and the whole special points are getting nerfed. So I'm going to see a lot less Slosher Decos. That's going to suck for me. I don't know how I'm going to adjust to that. Heavy Splat Lane, 180 to 200. I think this is needed because I am seeing a lot of heavy splat lanes and I'm not seeing any of the splat lanes. So this is definitely gonna help kind of mellow all the splat lanes in the meta. So that's good. Now that's all done with the balance changes. Now I'm gonna be talking about the other stuff. Camp Trigger Fish. I, I know this is weird. I'm gonna talk about Camp Trigger Fish. It, it, it's an okay map. Definitely in rank, I think they need to have less of the nets, or, yeah, the net area, because I always find in Rain Lake release, when you're on one side of the map and they push to the other side, it's really hard to move sides without dying or without taking a long time, so, I, I don't know, I don't really like that, but definitely, it's, it's a very interesting map, I really like it, I, I feel like it needs a little change, like a bridge or something, so camps, the camp's good. It's definitely good for infiltration, so... I, I kind of like it. It's it's okay. I think they need to do something about that area to the left of your spawn. It's kind of just there. I wish it was used more. Probably just only used in turf war, so that kind of sucks. The new gear is obviously awesome. Splatfest thoughts. Now, my thoughts on this... I don't think that they should do something like this for a Splatfest. I've always thought of the Splatfest as something, like, very important, and, like, a very important decision, and I don't, I don't think Ninja Turtles, having, like, three Splatfests dedicated to Ninja Turtles is not a good idea. I don't personally like it, people might disagree, but that's just my opinion, so. New weapons, what do I think about them? Gluga Dooley's Echo, definitely the better Gluga Dooley's, amazing kit, I don't have much more to say about that. New, uh, I think it's called New Squiffer. Autobahn Baller, really good kit. N better Squiffer, definitely by far. But, yeah, pretty good kit. But not the best for a sniper. But, for my favorite kit, that's definitely up there. So, Foil Squeezer. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's gonna be good, but I don't play the Squeezer much, so I don't know where it would be worth, where it would work well with that. Neo splash Matic, I think that's the last new weapon, Overpowered. I think it needs a small nerf in special points, from like 200, I think that's where it's at. It's like one, no, 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 no. I need to go up. 200 to like 220, because I think that having such a bum launcher, and a weapon that paints well, and a good sub, is kind of a bit overpowered, so. Nerf that slightly, that's all I gotta say. Now, what do I think they missed? in terms of balance changes. I think they need to uh, nerf the splashdown. They did slightly, but it's not the nerf I was looking for. 
they nerfed it in, well, I didn't mention this before, but they actually changed it so it takes less damage for it to die mid-air. Now, that's gonna not really affect me that much because it's hard to immediately react and kill the dude mid-air, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna make, make much of a difference. What I was hoping for was for it to do less damage the farther it goes out. Because so many times I've seen where I've been way outside the circle of where it shows and I'll get damaged by it. So I think they should adjust kind of the range and where you get damaged from it. But it, it's still, it's, it's okay. I think Baller needs a buff. Now this is just my personal opinion because I just love Baller, but I just, I think it needs an explosion, either an explosion buff because sometimes I'm like right next to a dude and I don't kill him. Or it needs, like, it, you need to hop into the baller quicker because I will use it sometimes as a panic special to try to hop into it. And it will take, like, a long time to get into it. And I have just so much time to die. And it's, I think it needs a little change, a little tweak. I think dapple doings need enough. Not just the weapon, but, like, not the weapon, but... The special points. I think it needs to go from 180 to 200. I'm talking about the Nubo and the regular Dapple I think it paints really well. I don't think the special points should be at one below 200. So that's what I think. Now there's one more thing we need to talk about. They said that every month they will have eight maps per mode in rank. And it will change every month. Now what do I think about this? I think it could go easily wrong. They choose some terrible maps for a certain mode. It can easily go wrong, but it, it can also easily go right. So, it, it, I don't know. I, I guess we'll just have to see. Because, you know, they might choose terrible maps, but hopefully they don't make the wrong decisions and it ends up turning to be good. So, I think it's good that it changes every month. If it was forever, I would just hate that, so... It's pretty good. That's all I really got to say about this update. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.